Hi, I am Amy Kelly, and today we are broadcasting with Mary Brasby Huddlestone and Ralph Huddlestone, who are the owners of HealthScan, which evidently, I'm, I'm new to this, Mary, tell us and tell our listeners, uh, what is the HealthScan exactly? What does it do? Okay. Well, we have the HealthScan machine, um, but really, Lawrence Swenson owns the Solex Everlast Energy Company, and this is one of his health scans. Wow. And so I think about 15 to 20 people so far in the U.S. have purchased one of these health scan machines. So very unique to the Tooele area then. Yes, there's two in Tooele County. Great. This is the only one in Tooele City um, so far. Wonderful. Yes. So how long have you been operating this um, as far as an option for health? I uh, started three years ago with a different variation of this machine that tested 98 body functions. And uh, Lauren um, went back to Germany and China. This originated in Germany. And he um, tweaked it and added um, 73 more body wow. functions, including the thyroid and the blood sugar and all the vitamins and minerals. And he added a panel of amino acids. And the first test tested for the female hormones and just a couple of the male. And now it um, tests about nine or, nine or 10. Wow. Uh, so since I'm fam not familiar with this, I should say, what can I expect if I was to come and get a health scan? What would it tell me? What would okay. the information yeah. be provided? Well, everybody's going to walk home <laughs> with, with a 10-page report, wow. and it tells all the areas that they're in balance in the body. And most people, it's, it's a good report card. We okay. call this the ultimate report card for your body. And children to adults of all ages, children eight and older, they have to be oh, at least, at least uh -huh. eight to, to be able to have this test right. done. And we found out that the children's health scans, um, actually the majority that I've done, their health scans are lower than most adult health scans. Uh, a lot more fat in the blood and a lot more deficient in vitamins and minerals and uh, uh, I don't know I was just kind of surprised there was a lot uh, there were a lot more imbalances in children than there were in some of the healthy uh, mainstream adults um, there's always exceptions, but when we had about 12 in one day, and I was just reviewing them on the computer before I shut down at night, I was really shocked, actually. That is fascinating. What remedies are offered then if you find out you have an imbalance in something? What are you okay. doing? What are you going to do to fix right. that? Well, since we're, Ralph and I aren't doctors, <laughs> and, <laughs> you're not doctors. no, no. Um, so we don't give recommendations. Okay. So very nicely what the company did was their medical experts went online and this is all holistic uh -huh. okay so it's it's not going to tell you any pres prescriptions or anything right. so um we give you the website on this card that everybody takes home with them and they take the 10 pages home and then they go on the website and on the third or fourth page comes up all the categories that are tested. Okay. And so if they notice that they have pluses where they're out of balance on here, then they simply go to that area, scroll down to the exact test that was done. It tells them medically what what that area of the body is supposed to do. Uh -huh. And if you're high, you can take these herbs or vitamins or eat these foods or do this exercise. Um, and if it's low, the same thing. So. so now, Ralph, you've started doing this as well. You kind of married into it, I understand. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. Tell me, as far as you're, you're running the scans, um, what have you been experiencing from people? What are the results that you've been getting? Well, I couldn't say this a few years ago. I uh, was introduced to one of these in St. George a few years ago, and I thought, come on, that's not possible. And uh, this is just a scam, you know, and everything. Mm -hmm. Now that I have a chance to run it, I see it's true, because I can see in my own body when it pointed out some areas of problems for me, 
I knew that I actually did have those problems, and they were right in, in line with them. Wow. So now I know what to do about it, so you can make corrections. It also tells you what you're doing good about your body, which is a nice thing. It helps you relax. You get a, a, a report done scan. I'm okay here. I'm okay here. Well, I'm really good here. And this is good, too. To, right. know that, to know that there are some things in life you're doing right, but maybe there's a few areas that are a little questionable. Well, that's fun. It's a kind of an empowerment for the people then to be able to take health matters into their own hands and be responsible yes. for their health. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So there's a, they're not in fear of anything anymore about, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I, ha- I heard the other day that if I have this and this and this, it could lead to this and this. Well, this takes the fear out of it because you know what your body is doing. You know what you need to do about it. And on a very personal level. Very personal. Because that's something I've found is not everything is going to work for everybody. We're just so different that different things. And so when you do the first initial scan, do you come back an X amount of time later and have another scan done to see where you're now measuring up? Or Most people like to do that okay. um, because when I had my first scan done, um, it showed that my bone density wasn't very good at all. And but I knew that, okay, I had already been taking their uh-huh. test, and I knew that. And you can only take the bone de- density test every two years, wow. you know, in the medical facilities. Mm-hmm. And it's slow changing. And so I noticed that I was low on vitamin D3. I was low on calcium absorption. So I switched to a different calcium. I'm taking a different supplementation, and I want to know if it's doing good. Are the results the same? Are they lowering? Are my scores getting better? And so I'm actually down a notch. I still have a ways to go. I've increased the exercise. And this is letting me know I'm actually gradually, steadily getting better. But where I was low on vitamin D and vitamin K, I instantly did that. And vitamin C, I mean, I didn't realize I was deficient in vitamin C uh, and I had that fixed the next month when I went in. I raised a bunch of things that were no-brainers. It's like, if only I knew. Right. So this really is enabling us to just take the mystery out of it. I think you're right when you say we hear these new tests or these new things, and it's always fearful. Then we all run out and think, I need to take vitamin D a year. We don't know what really our personal body might need. Well, fantastic. And I want to thank you for joining us again, both of you, for Twilla TV. I'm Amy Kelly. Thanks for watching.